Hello, my name is Brie Elizabeth Day, and I am 17 years old, and my pronouns are she, her. I go to Cawthor Park Secondary School, and I am a part of the Regional Arts Program in the Drama Department. My first monologue, my poetic monologue, will be from Richard III by Shakespeare um, for Act 4, Scene 4, a portion of Queen Margaret's monologue. Bear with me. I am hungry for revenge. And I cloy me now with beholding it. Thy Edward, he is dead, that stabbed my Edward. Thy other Edward, dead, to quit my Edward. Young York, he is but boot. Because both they cannot match the high perfection of my loss. Thy Clarence, he is dead, that stabbed my Edward. And the beholders of this tragic play, the adulterate Hastings, Rivers, Bacon, gray untimely smothered by their dusky graves. Richard yet lives. Hell's black intelligencer only reserves their factor. by souls and send them thither but at hand at hand ensues his piteous and unpitied end earth gapes hell burns fiends roars saints pray to have him suddenly convey away cancel Cancel his bond of life. Dear God, I pray that I may live to say the dog is dead. <laughs> Thank you. And now I will be doing a the opening monologue of Tick Tick Boom, the uh, musical adapted into screenplay. I will be doing the one from the screenplay. Hi, I'm John. I am a musical theater writer, one of the last of my species. And um, lately, I've been hearing this sound everywhere I go, like a tick, 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 like some time bomb in some cheesy B movie or Saturday morning cartoon. The fuse has been lit. The clock counts down the seconds as the flame gets closer and closer and closer until all at once the date is January 26, 1990. The setting, the barren, unfashionable no man's land between Soho and Greenwich Village. I have two keyboards, a Macintosh computer, a cat, an impressive collection of compact discs, cassettes and records of other people's music, bookshelves sagging under the weight of novels and plays I didn't write. I have a dystopian rock musical that I've spent the last eight years of my life writing and rewriting and rewriting. I have rejection letters from every major and minor producer, theater company, record label, film studio in existence. And in just over a week, I will be 30 years old. Older than Stephen Sondheim when he wrote his first Broadway play. Older than Paul McCartney when he wrote his last song with John Lennon. By the time my parents were 30, they already had two kids. They had steady paychecks, a mortgage in eight days. My youth will be over forever. And what exactly do I have to show for myself? Happy birthday. All right, thank you.